For October 20th, 2017, our AHS swim team makes a splash as they prepare for a new season. Also, it starts as a normal phase, but for some, it can be a serious disorder. At America's, the action never stops. Blaze Your Action News starts now. Welcome back Blazers, I'm Karen Narvizo and I'm Ruben Gonzalez and this is Blazer Action News. The beginning of the nine weeks bring the start of the anticipated America's High School swim team. That's right and I couldn't be more excited about it so let's dive right in with Nidia Jimenez. Waking up at four in the morning, jumping into freezing cold water, tirelessly pushing to become faster every day, the America's High School swim team is preparing for the upcoming season. From the 100 fly to the 500 free, swimmers collectively work hard to do their best. 55 swimmers practice every day at the Student Activity Complex pool with one goal in mind, to be the best. But for Carlos Sanchez and Kim Lozano, that's not the only reason why they do it. What I like about most swimming is um, the bond swimmers have with each other. Um, we grow, uh, it's like brotherhood with the guys and it's just a big family. And I mean, everybody tries to, like, everybody gets along. What I like about swimming is just, like, mostly my friends, how we really got to bond. Overall, it's really fun to be around everyone. And, yeah. Swimming pushes swimmers to pass their limit and try to beat swimmers from all over El Paso. For Eric Medina and Crystal Rodriguez, their ultimate goal comes when they compete against other schools. What happens when I swimming is, well, first, uh, they, put on an they put each other in our events. Uh, we get ready, uh, we dive, we do our uh, stroke, uh, what we have to do, and we have, fun, we have fun, we push each other. Compete against schools all around El Paso, like Franklin, Eastwood, Eastlake, Mountwood. And, and it's fun because we get to meet friends from other schools and um, swim against each other, and it's so competitive, but all, at the same time, it's it's so fun to just be around your friends competing against them. So who leads the school of fish? Coach Aguilar is the glue that keeps the swimmers together. Swimming is something that I really like as a coach, of course, and as a swimmer myself. But uh, for those that enjoy swimming, at least we have this program because not every high school would. On top of that, I think that that's a life sport. This is one of those things that it would be great if everyone knew how to swim. Please come out to our swim meets. We have most of our meets on Fridays, and most of them are at the SAC. Come and see your friends. Uh, a lot of them may be swimmers, and it would be kind of nice for, the, for you to see what it is that they do. Come support the swim team tonight in their first meet at Cohen. Several other meets will take place throughout the year. For more information on when the swim meets are, visit G3003. Reporting for Blazer Action News, I'm Nidia Jimenez. Thanks, Nidia. So, Ruben, have you ever been put in an awkward situation? My whole life is an awkward situation. <laughs> we sent out some hidden cameras to see how you react when you are put in an awkward situation. Hey, let me, can I hold your hand real quick? Oh, hey, your hand. No, your hand. Your hand, bro. My guy, my guy. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Do you live in a cornfield? Because I'm stalking you. You don't live in a cornfield? No? Alright, hold on. Got your Instagram. Are you guys photographer? Are you a photographer? Am I a photographer? Yeah, like a photographer. Oh, it's because it's cause I could picture us together. Are you being serious? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> hey. How are you doing today? Good. Good? How are you texting? No. Alan? So, uh, I know this might be awkward and stuff, but, uh, you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Yeah? RATS! Hey, does this feel weird to you? Can you feel my shirt? 
Like, does it feel weird? Because it feels pretty weird to me. You know what kind of material that is? No. That's boyfriend material. <laughs> and I need your guys' opinion. So I'm gonna dedicate this song to you couple. <laughs> All right, ready? It's already. Uh, ready, ready? <laughs> to both of you. <laughs> Thanks guys. I'll tell you what's not awkward here in AHS. Our orchestra. That's right. Orchestra is a collection of musical virtuosos. Let's check in with Vanessa and Caitlin with more. America's High School Orchestra hit the high note at their all-region audition on October 14, 2017 at the Via High School. 27 students dedicated their time practicing their music. 17 students prevailed in the audition. Here's Andrew Avila talking about how he got ready for his audition. Since we started this year, we've just been nonstop like practicing and getting it to the best we could get it. So when we went there, it really wasn't so difficult. We had practiced a lot for it. I really wanted to get into music and, and you know, uh, you know, blowing into an instrument didn't seem like my style, so just playing uh, a string instrument just seemed more fun. The audition consists of five judges behind a curtain listening to find the best of the best. Here is Catalina Solis on her experience. I was nervous, but I was also very confident in myself knowing that I was um, ready for whatever was going to happen. But other than that, yeah, I was pretty nervous. From here, um, when it comes to our region, you get your next chair, your real chair in your group that you're in. So you get more music that you have to audition for, and that music is for when you're hardly critiqued in. That's what helps you place your chair in. These 17 students will now prepare for all region on February 10th. Good luck, America's Orchestra. Reporting for Blazer Action News, I'm Caitlin Adams. Keep up the good work, guys. Switching gears now, anxiety is one of the most common mental illness disorders affecting many children and many adults. According to statistics, anxiety disorders affect one in eight children. Here's this week's Oveas lesson on anxiety. The tightness in my chest. Feeling fear flowing through my veins. The noise around me becomes ear piercing. I can't hear my own voice. Yet, all my thoughts are screaming at me. Asking for something I can't give them. What is this? Why is this happening? Why can't I be alone? Remember, don't be afraid to talk about your situation. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll tell you about an upcoming event that will surely be a scary good time. On September 20th, Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico and caused catastrophic damage to the island. 85% of the people are currently without power, and 36% do not have safe drinking water. There has been many casualties, but thankfully the island families are still receiving help and support. Recently, Mexico has also been through a series of earthquakes, one of which had a magnitude of 7.1. Luckily, relief efforts have been sent over, helping the construction and all the families that were affected. Wildfires have also scorched through California. Recently, a wildfire has destroyed more than 5,700 structures in a span of over 217,000 acres of land. Because it has been reported to be two of the largest fires, many lives were lost. Unfortunately, amongst all these natural disasters, a gunman opened fire at a music festival in Las Vegas on October 1st. Currently, 59 victims have died, and there has been around 595 people injured. This has been your World News Update.
could not believe what's gonna happen. Guess what? Yes, a man. She invited me, but I'm going by myself. Welcome back, Blazers. Here at America's High School, not only do we bring the news to you every week, but we also are in the product development business. That's right. Let's take a sneak peek at what we've come up with this week. Do you get bullied? Then you need a rhino juice. I'm Rhino Johnson. This rhino juice. Rhino juice turned my life around. It gives you 15 rods of gun, dude. 15 rods is great. Great stuff, man. It gives you energy, all right? It makes you smarter. You get better grades, it makes you faster and more athletic. Makes you more popular, fight off those bullies. Better speaker. <laughs> Better with the jokes, you're funnier, dude. Funnier. Think about it, all right? Rhino juice, $59.99 a bottle, great stuff, gives you plenty of energy. Rhino juice, it gets the touch stains out. Can't wait to try it. Even though we were on break for the past two weeks, our athletes kept on competing. Here's Brittany Gomez with sports. What's going on, Blazers? I'm Brittany Gomez, updating you with our weekly sports. We're all very proud to see our tennis head on to the playoffs. Today at 5, there will be a swim meet at Cohen. Cross Country has no upcoming events. Heading on to football, we unfortunately lost against Coronado on homecoming night. We saw their great win against the Coro on the 5th with a remarkable score of 40-0. Our team played on the 13th against Pebble Hills, but sadly lost. Here are some highlights on the past few games.
attend the game tonight at the SAC against Eastwood at 7 o'clock. Our volleyball girls played Monwood on Tuesday, but sadly came up short with a score of 4-0. but we wait for their great comeback today against El Dorado. Well, that's it for this week, Blazers. I'm Brittany, and this has been Blazer Sports. If you're looking for a fright-filled fun time, come and experience the third annual Horror Fest on Wednesday, October 25th, 2017. Come and watch a collection of the most terrifying horror films produced by SISD students, including a film produced by our very own Blazer Action News crew. Horror Fest will take place on Wednesday, October 25th at Eastlake High School at 6 p.m. Admission is $2. Thanks, Brittany. That's all we got for this week, Blazers. I'm Karen. And I'm Ruben. And this has been Blazer, Blazer Action News. News. Blazers, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at America's BAN and subscribe to our YouTube channel.